I want to take a look at something that has been puzzling me for about a week or so. My one football app keeps me as up to date as possible with transfers, sometimes too up to date to the point I see every single fake transfer rumor on the planet. But that's besides the point. As I follow various clubs and players, one thing stands out, the situation surrounding Victor Osimhen. This Nigerian striker played a crucial role in Napoli's Scudetto victory with his incredible talent. Despite his impressive performances and the fact that he's clearly available, there's been a surprising lack of buzz around his potential transfer. In this video, we'll break down all the factors influencing this situation, from transfer fees and wages to club needs and strategic decisions. I'll try to answer the pressing question, why does it seem like no major club is currently seriously chasing Victor Osimhen? We want you here in our stable of bucks. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into it. The best players in the world always seem to have a much harder time getting transferred. I guess you can go to Saudi Arabia if you want to get paid big bucks, but a 25 year old in his prime doesn't want to go somewhere that no one watches or takes seriously. As sad as it is, that's where careers go to die, at least in terms of recognition. So with Asiman electing to avoid Saudi Arabia at this time in his career, he has to turn his attention to the only other place that are able to afford his release clause. The top five leagues have maybe a total of five clubs who are willing to get this deal done, and really, the crux of the issue here is that sacrifices must be made by either the player, his current club, or the prospective club. Someone has to budge. Asiman's contract includes a release clause of around 120 million euros, which is smart business by Napoli. Yet, the situation seems odd because despite Napoli seemingly having all of the leverage, their new manager, Antonio Conte, has excluded Osimhen from friendlies and training sessions. The expectation is that Conte will reunite with former number nine, Romelu Lukaku, and sell Osimhen for a substantial profit, enabling Napoli to challenge for another Scudetto. This is confusing to me as Osimhen is a clearly superior striker compared to Lukaku, who is on the backside of his career. If Napoli can't finalize a deal, why not stick with Osimhen, who played a pivotal role in leading them to their title? It appears that the relationship between Osimhen and Napoli is fractured, with the players seemingly eager to leave. This sentiment is echoed by other players from last season as well, like captain Giovanni Di Lorenzo, who also wanted out. It's clear there are internal issues at Napoli, but I'll leave that for you to explore. Regarding Osimhen's future, there have been reports of an agreement with PSG, but the club is unwilling to meet his release clause. This is also puzzling, given that PSG paid double for a player who arguably isn't as good as Osimhen. Maybe PSG just learned their lesson with Neymar, I guess. There are also talks going on with Chelsea and Arsenal in the Premier League, but they too are reluctant to meet the release clause. So what's the issue? Chelsea has spent record amounts on players recently. What makes Osimhen so difficult to sign? The only real concern might be his recent injury history. Despite this, previous videos I've made show that Osimhen's XG and goal rate from the matches he played make him arguably the best striker in Serie A for a second consecutive year. Securing deals for world-class players is always more challenging. Only a few clubs can afford such high transfer fees and those that can afford them often haven't even spent that much before, like Liverpool. This limits the market to maybe just five clubs. When a deal involves such a large sum of money and both sides can't agree, situations like Osimhen's arise. With less than three weeks before the start of the new season, not training with his current club and a potential transfer in deadlock, it's hard to predict what will happen next. There's speculation about a potential swap deal between Chelsea and Napoli, which might lower the fee enough to satisfy both sides. It would also make the most sense since Romelu Lukaku is Conte's number one target and Chelsea are willing to get rid of him. PSG has already stated they won't pay the release clause. This makes the situation even more complex. 
So looking at it from the outside, it seems like only Chelsea are willing to make this deal happen, and truly, it's going to be at their price. At the top, I mentioned how Napoli had the leverage in this situation. However, as the transfer window has progressed, it's become clear that Napoli's position is more complicated than it appeared. Despite having the upper hand on paper, the reality is that Napoli is under considerable pressure. With Osimhen seemingly unwilling to play for the club again, and at this point only one or two teams are genuinely interested in completing this deal, Napoli faces a challenging predicament. They need to offload a superstar who is sidelined and not contributing to the team, while all their potential buyers are continuing to back out of negotiations. This creates a tough situation for Napoli as they must balance the need to secure a deal with the risk of Osimhen's ongoing absence and the limited number of serious suitors. <sighs> it's unfortunate because we're uncertain about what the 24-25 season holds for one of the most exciting players in the world. Personally, I'd love to see him in the Premier League, but that doesn't seem likely right now. The steep transfer fee reflects the caliber of a player like Osimhen and it's a shame that this climate makes transfers so difficult. The main reason no one seems to want Osman right now is simple. The few clubs that can afford him see his recent injuries and the current price as too risky. There's still hope that a deal will be finalized in the coming weeks, allowing us to see one of the most exciting strikers in the world play on the biggest stage.